Swadikap. Welcome everyone. I am Mark Kolenberg and today we are at the Oriental Resident Bangkok. We are here joining in with one of the British Chamber of Commerce annual events. We have a lot of things to show you all tonight. Let's join inside. Today's event at the British Chamber of Commerce is the British Chamber of Commerce Young Professional Networking. Who is going to be at the event and how the event is organized will be seen upstairs at the second level. So come and join me. We're now honored to be with Chris Thatcher, the chairman of British Chamber of Commerce Thailand. Sawadikap. Sawadikap. Mr. Chris, why is this event today so important? British Chamber has been in existence now for 70 years. Wow, 70 years? Uh, yes, 70 years. And for quite a while recently, we've had this image mm -hmm. of being white, male, elderly. Okay. Um, so all of our directors were male, very few Thai people, a couple, but not many. Mm. And about a year ago, we decided that we needed to do something about that. Because if you think about it, we have nearly 600 companies as members. 600 companies? 600 companies 600. as members? Wow, that's a really lot. Now, if, if each of those companies has 100 people working for it, and some will have a lot more, some will have less, that's what is it? It's 60,000 workers working well, that, that, That's a very, companies. very, very big amount of people. Yeah. So, so then there's definitely need and for... And we weren't a... reaching those people. And a lot of those people will be young. Well, when you say you weren't reaching those people, is, is that why today it's focused on young exactly. uh, developers and networking for that? We do other events. We do uh, a lot of uh, events where we inform our members. So we've got the Minister of education coming in, in June. We've got Kun Komsak, who's from the Prime Minister's office, coming also in June. <coughs> Excuse me. But we've also got uh, events that we organise every month. We call them T3s. Okay. Uh, because they take place on the third Thursday. And these events are relatively new, and they're aimed at attracting younger people. I shouldn't really be here. Oh, come on, you're still you know, very young. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, I have a last question, of course. Many of our audiences at home are very curious. How could they be part of this magnificent event that you're organizing? If you are members of British Chamber, then you obviously get advantages. Ah, okay. So, you, you come <laughs> so in how can they be a member then, the big question? <laughs> all they have to do is join. But oh, it's no. really an organization for companies. You can join as an individual. Mm. But for companies, we provide all of this sort of facility, mm. events like this, for any people I, who work for them. If you say that it's only for companies, what, what happens if you are not a member? Is it possible for a non-member to be part of this event? Oh yes. There are about 20% of the people coming tonight who are not members. Obviously, we hope in the long term that they will join. They'll <laughs> see this, they'll come to this. I think, so I'm sure they'll join. I'm sorry they'll join. I must join British Chamber. But we also, like, uh, separately, you choose amazing hotel location also. I mean, it's ah. really nice. The lady sitting over there, RJ, is the person who organizes ah, all of that. Okay, okay. She's worked for British Chamber for a lot of years and she's got many contacts in the hotel industry. Well, she's behind you here and uh, I can assure you she's doing an amazing job. She is. We're, we're very proud to come to hotels like this. And this is actually one of the hotels that's part of Onyx. Uh, and David Cumming, who's uh, the manager of Onyx, mm. the general manager, is one of our directors. So of course it, it works for him, it works for us. I, I seem like uh, this event is really gonna be a lot of enjoyment. We're gonna shake out inside. But it was a great pleasure to interview okay. you and for Good all your knowledge. You. Thank you. We're now honored to be with Kun Pinya Pa, Pishai Pa Gon, Director of British Chamber of Commerce Thailand. Sawadika. Sawadika. Kun Pinya Pa, uh, why is this event today so important? Right, um, but first of all, thanks for coming. 
Um, for us, as a British Chamber of Commerce, we feel that now is time for the new generation and all of the chambers in Thailand, it has always been like the business person, mm. doing the business and sort of thing, but nobody we recognize that. You still have still like one group of the young professional that they're going to grow up in the future and you have to feed them with the knowledge, with the opportunity. And for us, as a British chamber, we feel like it's time for us just to supporting the new generation to grow up. Well, it's a very important thing for the 21st century because now we, we are it into is, a complete yes, new indeed. world. Exactly. Uh, it's also we have a lot of uh, young entrepreneurs uh, in the world because in the past, yeah. of course, you have to come into a certain maturity. But exactly. I, I believe yeah. today the maturity goes much faster. Mm -hmm. Is that why you want to have a young professional networking as it is today? Yeah, it is. So basically, for example, like um, I'm going to talk about the digital business part. So. So far that I've met the people who are entrepreneur. They say like but they are kind of like twenty-two up to twenty-six years old and they're really young but I know that they're very smart, they're really like brave enough to step up of their own comfort zone and do their own business. They're very successful, but on the other hand, I'm thinking that they're growing up too fast. Mm. They don't know how to balance themselves. Yes, yes. Some of them they're too low of confidence. They're not brave enough to do something new and um, some of them they were way too much and didn't know how to balance the thing to do the proper business in the future. That makes a lot of yeah. sense because we it see is. a lot of uh, young companies uh, they start off very strong uh, but yeah. they don't last. Exactly. And, and I think it's also uh, because we mature uh, today too fast right. I think there's not enough information that really Absolutely. provides to be professional. Yes. Are we able to expect more great events like this? Absolutely, and um, we are going to have the next one in August and another one probably in another couple months. Oh so wow, August would, already, we have a lot to right. look forward to. I mean like we're going to keep doing this. Do, do, do we have a certain idea where we can expect the next one? Because um, we have a wonderful place here today. I mean you have to give the credit to the Oriental residents. Exactly, thanks Oriental residents so far and can I keep this as a secret? Oh okay. But I just want you guys just to follow us in Facebook and Instagram, so for Facebook like BCCT Young Professionals and also in the Instagram as well and we're gonna launch our next event soon. Well, I have a last one. Chris right. already shared with the viewers how to join the events right. but I want you to share something else. Okay. If someone at home wants okay. to be a young developer or entrepreneur, right. what would you share to them? Um, don't be scared. Believe in yourself. Life is not easy and will not be easy. So, stay above your comfort zone and face it and believe in yourself. Kunemi, it was a great pleasure to interview you. Pleasure as well. Thank you so much. We're now honored to be with Sarah Smith, the general manager of Jamie's Restaurant in Siam Discovery. Sawadika. Sawadika. How are you today? I'm very good, thank you. We, we have a really interesting event uh, going on here today. Yes. Would you like to share a little bit about how you feel towards this event? Um, this is the British Chamber of Commerce Young Professionals networking event this evening. Um, it's our third proper networking event that we've hosted as part of the British Chamber um, and it's really really exciting. We've got <laughs> loads of people here, there's you know a great atmosphere and it's really great nice. music. <laughs> great music, lovely venue and it's really nice to have so many people coming and you know taking part and it's so different from the normal British Chamber of Commerce, don't tell Chris. Um, <laughs> Chris also said it because yeah. he was he was mentioning that uh, that in the past the, the or British Chamber of Commerce had a middle aged yes. and uh, middle aged men uh, sort of mature yeah. mentality, but but he wants to change it. And, and what yeah. do you think about the changes that Chris was suggesting? Do you agree? I, with I absolutely think it's necessary. You know, there's so many young people in moving up in business, and looking at the speakers that we've had this evening, two young women in very high up positions, uh, yes. and they've done really well in their careers. It's a really great example to young professionals moving up, and even people who've not had the opportunity to move. Um, and live abroad or work abroad and they've been working here um, you know that's really it's a really good message to send to people. Well we have talked a little bit about other people but now I would like to talk specifically about you uh, you have been very successful in your restaurant can you just <laughs> mention a little bit 
what your restaurant's secret is and how you became so successful. Oh, well, um, Jamie's Italian is obviously a global brand. Um, we opened here in November 2016. So, November 2016, okay. Yeah, so about a year and a half ago. Um, and it's been an absolute whirlwind opening a restaurant in Thailand. Um, we've really kind of, you know, enjoyed the process. It's been really hard work, um, but it's now it's really like satisfying to see how fruitful uh, it's been. Um, and it's been lots of training, lots of passion, lots of hard work, um, and and just never giving up and never letting any problems get to us. Changing with the market as well. This is a brand new market for us. You know, Thailand's really, really challenging um, as a market. So it's yeah. It's, it's been an experience, but we're moving in the right direction. I'm really pleased with how we're doing, and yeah. Sarah, I, I have a little bit of more personal question. Mm. Uh, you are a young professional, uh, very successful. <laughs> how do you cope with these pressures? Because we have many successful uh, people, uh, but they have more difficulty to cope with pressure. What is your secret? I find that this helps. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe I should change from water to wine. <laughs> um, no, I, I kind of... I've been working in restaurants for quite a long time. I actually started working for Jamie's Italian oh, okay. back in 2009 as a waitress. 2009? Ooh, from so waitress to general as a waitress, manager, wow! I know. <laughs> and if you'd said to me back in 2009, you're going to be the general manager of a restaurant in Thailand, I would have. How just, did that happen? I'm I really would have curious. just, I would have just laughed you out of the building. <laughs> um, but it's, yeah, it's been a journey. Um, I worked my way up from a waitress to a manager in the UK. Ooh, wow. Um, I had some personal life stuff going on, so I took a break to go traveling a little bit. Um, and then I, I kind of uh, went to work for another company for about six months. Mm -hmm. um, and that was a really good experience because it taught me that Jamie's was a company I really wanted to work for and I really enjoyed working for. So, so you would recommend to our viewers that you must have passion. Oh, 100%. So your passion is with, is with uh, Italian restaurant Jamie's? It's uh, with is, is, is that, is that, is that the real reason why you have so much success? Because you're so passionate about what you do. I think if you haven't got the passion about what you do, you're never going to be as successful as if you have the passion. You might be successful, but the, there's got to be some kind of love and drive and passion behind it. And especially with food and cooking, you know, <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, not, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, not a yeah. chef. I can cook for myself at but, home. But you look like someone who likes food. <laughs> yeah, is that because of the belly? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, um, because I like food too, I can yeah, feel the passion. You know, I, I, I like to cook, but you know, when you have really good food and you have a chef who's put a lot of love and time and attention into producing a dish, and then you have customers who, you know, you come in, you see them have the meal and they really enjoy it. It's, it's just, yeah, it's a really nice experience. Well, um, and it's really satisfying. I have a last question, a mm. big important one. Oh no. This question is, would you recommend this event? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> well, the next event, we haven't told anyone yet, the next event is actually going to be hosted in my restaurant. Ooh, they even told really me that. <laughs> I know. I, they told it was a secret. So. Oh, well, I've just let the cat out of the bag. Um, yes, the next event is going to be hosted in Jamie's Italian in Siam Discovery um, in August. Um, so I would definitely recommend for people to come. There's so many people here. <laughs> Out of coming to these events, I've met so many people. I've met somebody who's now looking after my digital marketing for the restaurant. You know, I've met people who've done 360 photography for me and all this kind of thing. So you never know who you're going to meet and what it's going to do for your career. You know, so much about working is about who you know, the connections that you make with people, and you can call on those personal connections. So. Sarah, I truly enjoyed my interview with you. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. We're now honored to be with Kun Gon Kanok Yong Sukun, founder of RBL Training Center. Sawadikap. Sawadikap. Can you explain a little bit more about RBL Training Center? Sure, well, RBL starts from Run Rom by Nick, which means living peacefully and happily. Mm -hmm. We found a company about four years ago. What we do exactly is we do training and development, especially we focusing on personal development. Mm -hmm. Because I believe that uh, each one of us, 
That's the mindset. And how can you develop your mindset to be successful in whatever your career or relationship? Uh, we also see that today we are talking about young developers. Yes. As the British Chamber of Commerce is very interested to develop that. Why is this event so important? It is important because, um, well, all of, uh, all of you are here, mm -hmm. and of course, that to you know to build a connection or even to communicate, you need to see and you need to get out of the world more. Mm -hmm. That's why they call it a build a rapport. And I think this event is great that you can practice building your rapport, your small talk, to get to know the other person's world. And I believe that together everyone achieves more. It's the full throttle, it's the full force. I have a very personal question. Uh, what would you be speaking today uh, when, when it comes to RBL for this in particular uh, young developers networking? What would you like to share to our audience? I would like to share that uh, in my personal and my own experience to set up a business, you know, how to be successful, not that I'm really successful, now, like on the path. Well, you are what very habit, successful. <laughs> thank you. What kind of a habit, what kind of thinking, what kind of mindset would lead you into the right track? Because I believe and I had some experience before that sometimes, you know, when you're young, but you have so many ideas to explore, you don't know which direction. So that's today we're going to really focus in about. My last question. This event, would you share it to other people to join the upcoming times? Of course! <laughs> and I would like, you know, really encourage anybody who is watching this right now to really come meet new friends and, you know, good people and always, you know, um, improving yourself. Yes. Thank you so much for the interview. With pleasure. We're now with Michael Card, the CEO of Kingsman. Swadi Kap. Swadi Kap. Mr. Michael, would you like to share a little bit how you felt about the event tonight? Um, the event tonight was fantastic uh, to start off with. Um, very inspirational. Uh, we spoke, uh, the, the speakers in there spoke of very high values in, in the Thai society with regard to recruitment, training, uh, brought forward some very fantastic ideas which would be very beneficial. Uh, to everyone who attended tonight. So yeah, definitely, wonderful event. Well, I have also a little bit for you personally. Yep. Would you share a little bit about your company to our viewers and how it's developed to young, new developers? Now, uh, Kingsman Hospitality, we focus on uh, the hospitality industry, of course, uh, which is primarily outsourcing staff to um, five-star hotels and restaurants around Bangkok. Um, where we primarily focus on is the service skill of, of the staff. We train people before we send them out, um, where in Thailand there's not a big skill on, on the lower skills. So we train them up in these skills and then send them out, which is a higher benefit for, for hotels and restaurants. Do you think it's a very important to have uh, more, more of these type of events? Because in the past we have heard that the events has been focused on a more mature age. Do you think that for the 21st century which we live in today, that uh, the young generation should have more chance and also because we have many leaders? What would you share to our viewers for that? Definitely. I would definitely say that the young group here, the millennials are coming forward. Uh, you've got to focus on the millennials. There's a more entrepreneurial uh, spirit around, around these millennials. More IT is coming forward, apps, mobile phones. So definitely I would focus on this young professional. I can only highly recommend it to everyone. Um, Last question. I have yes. a very important one, of course. Would you share this event to the next time? Would you come to this event? 100%. Definitely. I have learned so much. Um, I've met the most fantastic people. They brought some knowledge on board to myself. Uh, as CEO, I can learn so much from all the people who I've met here tonight. Thank you so much. Cup and cup. Cup and cup. Thank you. Today's event at the British Chamber of Commerce Thailand, Young Professional Networking, we have seen a lot of very interesting from also people like Chris who are really trying to change to new generations of people. And we also see a lot of young entrepreneurs who really are inspiring personnel. We hope you all enjoyed this period. We really had a great time today. See you all next time. Swadikap.